human nervous system endogenously generates a variety of movement patterns without being constantly activated by a specific sensory input. In the prenatal stage, a variety of patterns of specific movements, such as isolated leaf movements, twitches, stretches, jumps, and respiratory movements that emerge from 9 to 12 weeks of gestational age and are still present after birth. In the prenatal stage, the child has a repertoire of spontaneous movements that can be included in the movement patterns. These movement patterns are known as general movements or GMs and were described by Prechtel at the middle of the last century. General movements consist of series of gross movements of variable speed and amplitude involving all parts of the body while lacking distinctive sequence in the body segments involved. These movements are complex and occur frequently enough to be seen properly and involve the whole body in a variable sequence of movements of arms, legs, neck and trunk. Undergo changes in intensity, strength and speed and has a gradually beginning and a gradually end. Rotations along the axis of the limbs and trunk make it fluid and elegant, creating the impression of variability and complexity. The alteration in normal quality of general movements is a reliable indicator of brain dys dysfunction. This applies to both premature and term infants and for infants in the first 20 weeks post-term. Prechtel developed this method for evaluating the quality of these general movements based on watching videos such as diagnostic tool for early detection of brain dysfunction. The basic course is to provide an introduction to the method of qualitative evaluation of the general movements designed by Prechtel. This new method has proven useful in assessing overall and postnatal nervous system integrity. Nervous system at present has demonstrated the reliability of the assessment of general movements at the early age as the best predictor of the presence of cerebral palsy. On the other hand, the advanced course is a four days course for participants who are already engaged in applying Prechtel's method on the qualitative assessment of general movements. Participation is possible only for individuals who su successfully pass a basic training course held under the auspices of the GM Trust regardless of the geographical area where it was taken. The advanced course will provide an additional intensive training in correct judgment. This training will, will deal with the details of the assessment, the proper terminology and technique, as well as with the application of individual developmental trajectories. The evaluation method suggested by Prechtel is a powerful supplement alongside the traditional neurological examination. The trainees receive sufficient information on the main issues that are the ontogeny of a spontaneous motor activity through lectures, demonstrations and workshops. Participants will analyze normal and abnormal general movements from birth to 20 weeks post-term. They will receive practical tips for recording videos, evaluation, interpretation, monitoring and predictive value of these in the detection of subsequent neurological disorders. All course participants receive a certificate of attendance. However, the certificate of reliability given by the GM Trust only will be granted to those who meet 100% attendance and pass the final exam. The courses supported by the GM Trust are included in graduate education programs with international value.